bootleg milk like this has been flowing now for several weeks in the Welsh Valleys, and other local authorities have found subtle ways of getting round the act, like putting in a bit of cocoa and serving it up as very milky hot chocolate. Some have even thought about putting in a single grain of rice and calling it rice pudding. But the ten labour-controlled boroughs of inner London have found a more direct way of getting round the law by using the penny rate. This morning, here in Woolwich, the leader of the Inner London Education Authority and the leader of Greenwich Council made friends with the kids and perhaps a bit of political capital into the bargain by launching the scheme in champagne style. Milk at home isn't often available, especially in families where the income is very low and where the father is perhaps out of work. The trouble is the people that make these um, pieces of legislation don't have to suffer from them, so they don't really realise the harm that it can do to our children. I mean, their children, it doesn't affect. How important is it that your children have milk at school? Well, it's really essential because I can't afford to give them the milk at home, and if they didn't get it at school, then they just wouldn't have it at all, and their health would lack, you know, very badly. We'll bridge them over until they have their dinner. You do know they've got something, you know, um, in them until dinner time. And, you know, and they're, they're not hungry. I know when I was a child, I felt hungry and used to enjoy my milk. If it came to a choice between having outdoor toilets, like you have here, and giving children free milk, which would you prefer? The free milk. Definitely. Yes, definitely free milk. Do you like having your milk, Stephen? Yes, I quite like it. It's all right. Why? Well, it does me good, and I like playing football, and it builds me up, gives me muscles. Makes you a better footballer, doesn't yes. it? Yes. Do you like your milk? Yes. Why? Because it's, because it's life. What do you think is more important, that you should have free school milk, or that the money should be saved and spent on building your better primary schools? I suppose they're both just as important as, important as each other.